Hello, everybody. Welcome to Wycliffe here, Wycliffe Memorial Stadium for our CBC TV game of the week. It is the Blue Devils of Wycliffe going up against the Harvey Red Raiders out of Painesville. Hello, everybody. Welcome on in. Double A Anthony Alfred Rico McGee here with you as the Blue Devils come out to the field in front of their home fans, all set and ready to go. Big match up here today, Rico. Week three of CVC action and should be a good one here tonight. Yes, it should. It definitely should be a good one, especially when you look at Harvey. For Harvey, the keys to victory, Harvey wants to minimize mistakes and they want to focus on execution. They lost a tough one last week that the coach says they let slip away. So look for them to establish the run. Blase Collins has 137 rushing yards and two touchdowns through two games this season. But the freshman, Sean Austin, who coach Mick Mockner believes is one of the top in the state, had eight carries for 48 yards and had 10 tackles last week versus Jefferson. You want to look for their defense to eat, eat, eat with their hands. They have to be nasty and stay in that backfield. Caleb Puckett, Forrest Smart, and Tyree Austin all played great last year with Caleb having 87 tackles last season. For Wycliffe, you want to look for them to establish the run and get into a momentum early to slow down this Harvey offense. A lot of keys there for both of these teams as they get set and ready to go here tonight. And should be a good one. I'll tell you what, the weather forecast here tonight, it is still summer. It is technically still summer. Just above 80 degrees, a little bit muggy. We can feel the mugginess here tonight, but obviously it will relax as we get going. We're about set and ready to go. The Red Raiders and the Blue Devils. Blue Devils, Wycliffe will get the ball first. Ball is teed up, kicked, and we are underway. And the kick will be fielded inside the 10. Coming up the field and tackle just past the 25 yard line. Lester was returning the kick and here we are off and running. And you mentioned your keys here, Rico, both teams looking to try to find the momentum. Let's start with the Blue Devil offense and an offense led by quarterback EJ Mester. EJ Mester is their, their heart and soul of this offense. He is a leader in the locker room, the leader in the weight room, and the leader in the classroom. And he is going to lead his team, and they're going to get behind him because they believe in what he can do. We're going to see a good chunk of these plays here, just running the football. And Gargiulo will get the carry. And Austin with the tackle. And we have an injury on the field. So as... The officials attend to the injury. Got Noah, Noah Garrison down. They're going to work on him. So early on in this game here, just getting underway. And Rico, the first thing that stands out to me, both of these teams, you mentioned in your keys, tough games last week. And they're just looking, both of these teams, trying to turn that corner. And they have great cultures to do it and it should be an outstanding contest here tonight. Outstanding contest. Both teams just lost some heartbreakers. Harvey, actually, their head coach said they let that one slip away, so they're going to try to minimize the mistakes, keep it to a minimum, and just continue to focus. Get back to playing your brand of Harvey football and get that first win of the season. It'll feel great. Look for Wycliffe to mix it up a little bit. We know they like to run the ball, and they're going to run early and often, to establish their dominance in the trenches. But look for a little bit of play action. Look for some boots and, you know, give some different looks to Harvey. Fans are still following in here. Both uh, fan bases still following in. As Garrison is up. And will head off the field. Get one play in just underway here at Wycliffe Memorial Stadium home of the Blue Devils. And it should be a phenomenal contest here. And we're going to see early on running the football, run heavy offense. 
That's what this Blue Devils team is about. And you're going to see it here. Second and eight. As we're back in action here from the 31. Motion. Carry from the outside. And out of bounds. Bobby Plum, the carrier. And he'll be out of bounds. And puck it with the stop. We're going to hear a lot of Bobby Plum here tonight. Named a News Herald Player of the Week back in week one. And he is a special talent. But we got a third down coming up. Third and two. Harvey stacking that box, expecting the run. Linebacker showing pressure. Our camera's right on it. See the alignment, the strategy, both sides. Ball snap, rolling out. And brought down in the backfield. Great play by Batley. An excellent play. Way to bring the pressure. Bringing that pressure. And the Blue Devils, they had a third and short, a third and two. And now they lost 12 yards. And the Blue Devils will have to punt. And that's what this front... That's what this front line for the defense of Harvey could do. They can apply that pressure and impose their will. Uh, that punt was partially blocked. Fielded at the 31. Return. And the Harvey Red Raiders is going to have short field. As Sean Austin returned it. And we have an injury on the field off of that punt return. Well, it's like you said, Double A, you mentioned that, you know, it is still summer, it's still hot, so, you know, heat cramps can be an issue in the early part of the season. And we'll see, of course, obviously the trainers are out and they're going to, you know, tend to the players and obviously all doing a phenomenal job uh, throughout here. Uh, but just that last play, you had the, had the third and short, the third and two, had the sack uh, for Harvey and then, Punt, partially blocked, and now Harvey's going to start on their side with short field. They're going to they're going to start at the 15 yard line, only 15 yards to get into the end zone. That's huge if you are the Red Raiders to get that start. Talking about the momentum, Rico, heading into this game. Well, Harvey's uh, special teams is also the unsung hero for this team. Their special teams is great, and they have played well throughout the season thus far. So it's not surprising, you know, to see them, you know, force a turnover and get the ball to their offense deep in Wickler's territory, actually within the red zone. I'd like to remind everyone, and we appreciate our presenting sponsor of CBC TV, it's the Ohio Center for Oral Facial and Implant Surgery, Dr. Keith Snyder, Don Lewis, Jill Weber, and Jacqueline Thompson. Their specialties include dental surgery and implants, corrective jaw and facial surgery, and trauma reconstruction. For all of your oral, oral surgery needs, visit the Ohio Center for Oral Facial and Implant Surgery at ohsurgery.com. It's www.ohsurgery.com. Thank you for your support of the Chagrin Valley Conference and CVC TV. And you see their logo at the top right corner of the screen. Absolutely one of the be very best. One of our best sponsors and you know, just the continued support of what we do for these kids. So Harvey will start short field after that punt was partially blocked. Receiver will motion, handoff inside to Collins. And he will be down. Carry for Harvey. He'll be close to a first down. And it will be a first down, first and goal coming up. I believe this game will be won in the trenches as always. It was a gain of 10. Wise, the quarterback is shotgun. He will take the snap back over to Collins and Collins will drive into the end zone for a touchdown. So after that short field, only have to go 15 yards to score. And Collins able to get it in 
And the Harvey Ra Raiders first on the scoreboard. Collins is such a big, strong, physical runner. You see how he just manhandled his way into the end zone for his third touchdown of the year. This is big. And I'll tell you what, as Soto Rodriguez, Antonio Soto Rodriguez will kick the extra point. Very hard to get Collins down. Here's the extra point. And that's good. Kick is good. 10-19 to go. Harvey Red Raiders up seven to nothing. Enrico, as you was starting to mention, Collins, big man, six foot one senior. It's kind of hard to bring him down in the open field. It's hard to bring down, especially when that speed and that motor gets to running. He is very tough to bring down, and it's going to take a few people. You're going to have to fly to this man and get him down. So we'll see how. The Blue Devils respond as they get back out offense. It was a three and out for the Blue Devils. They had a third and two, was sacked. And then the punt, when they tried to punt, was partially blocked and returned. So we'll see how the Blue Devils can respond. So again, more fans starting to foul in. Great to have you with us. CVC TV, it is the game of the week the red raiders and the blue devils facing off here tonight should be a good one here tonight soto rodriguez will kick off 10 19 to go here in this opening court and a good kick Good kick, a couple teammates right next to each other, but it will be fielded. Just past the 10, gets one, past one tackler, and goes down. And Messner, with a good return, setting up good field position for the Blue Devils. Talking about that battle with the special teams, and we say it all the time, how the field flips over. With working with the special teams, Rico, and early on in this game, less than two minutes in, we've seen the effect on both teams, the impact of special teams. Just that one lane, it's just, I know how it feels when you on kickoff return. It's just, it's just that one lane that you could just bust it open for a touchdown. So Mesner, after that return, hands off. Got a couple of yards. Julo rushing and we'll set up a second to seven for the 40. Soto Rodriguez, one of the guys making the plays defensively. And on defense, Soto Rodriguez, you're gonna see him all over the field. He's the kicker, but he's obviously he has a big role on defense. You might see him as well on offense as well. So you're gonna see him on the field as well, number 21 for the Red Raiders. Second and seven. Messner will keep it. And a loss of a couple yards. And that will be a loss of two there. Third down coming up. That's another way. I mean, this, this, but you can tell right now this battle is being won, being fought hard in the trenches. Wycliffe getting that push to pick up a few yards, but the defensive line of Harvey pushes them right back and cause, forces a loss in the backfield. Under nine minutes to go, just underway, seven to nothing, Harvey. Wycliffe with the football and a third and nine. Ball snap, handoff, a lot of room and running. It's gonna be close. Plump. With the football, it's going to be real close. Austin with the tackle. And the officials believe they're going to rule that a first down. Yes, they will. They will rule that a first down. So gain a nine on the play and a first down as the Blue Devils get their first first down of the football game. Beautiful run to keep possession. 
You want to keep Harvey's offense off the field because when their offense gets going, they are tough to stop. At the 47, get tight coverage. Running once again on the outside. Plum, and on the outside, defensively, the Red Raiders right on there. Revis there making a play. Harvey has a lot of athletes on this team. They have a very athletic team, and they can stretch the field, and they can move uh, horizontally or vertically at, at any speed. They are a very fast, very fundamentally sound football team. I'll tell you what, as we get ready for second 11, the humidity today is on a high level, and I am curious to see how the game is played out, especially up front. Um, you know, we're up here at the top of the press box, and it is just sitting. Here, week three of high school football action. As Plump gets back to the line of scrimmage, maybe a loss about a half a yard as Austin makes the play defensively. If you're this Harvey offensive line or and defensive line, if you're the offensive and defensive line of Wickless, you're going to see a battle, a battle. And it's going to be something. And I'll tell you what, though. He was mentioning the humidity a little bit ago. Both teams are going to have to be hydrated throughout this game. And it's going to be very important. Third and 12 from the 45. Snap, rolling out. Messner under pressure. It goes down. Down by Bolden, number 25. And so the second drive in a row on a third down. The Blue Devils having to roll out to the left side and a sack on that same spot on the left side, Rico. This defensive front is doing what they have known to do and they what have what they have been doing all season and last season. Those three guys in the front, along with the rest of that defensive line, is putting on a lot of pressure and eating with their hands. Coming up on six minutes to go in the first quarter. Looking to get the punt off. Just gets it. Going. And we just heard a word. And ball is fielded inside the 40. It's one of your favorite words, Rico. Tell the audience what it is and what that word means. The coach for Harvey was yelling out poison. What happens is when nobody catches the ball to return it on the punt, he, the, the word poison means everybody on the receiving team Get away from the ball because if you touch the ball, even with just a body part that is not your hand, Wycliffe would have had a chance to recover and regain offensive possession in Harvey territory. That's why when the word is screamed poison, you have to get away from it. That's very important. So the Red Raiders will start on offense. And just back to the line of scrimmage there is Sean Austin, the freshman with the football and back to the line of scrimmage and the Red Raiders back to lining up immediately here in the second down. Ball snap, throw, caught on the outside, looking to make a move, driving through, gets the first down and a few extra yards for Batley. Harvey going with the no huddle offense to take Wycliffe off their game and take some air out of this defense. And again, we mentioned before, a lot of players on both teams, a lot of underclassmen. There is experience, but a lot of underclassmen. Here's the run here. A little spin move and going for another first down. Blaze Collins gets the run for the first down. Another huge run for this Harvey defense. I mean, or, or for this Harvey offense, excuse me. And, and for the first time, Rico, they're making, they briefly went to a huddle before lining back up. Got four receivers spread out, two on uh, top of your screen, two to the bottom. The toss to Collins on the right side. The speed, Blaze Collins, first down. And this Harvey offense, as Mester made the stop, this Harvey offense moving down the field. 
They are marching down, and that offensive line is getting those big pushes. Getting the carry once again, and this time the defenders for the Blue Devils making the stop. Only a gain of a yard. And the Blue Devils needed that just to slow things down. Yes. <laughs> Definitely want to slow things down. They were getting ready to pick up the speed and pick up the pace. Speaking of pace, one thing that stands out, the speed of Blaze Collins, whenever he gets the football, you can tell he has speed. He's running with power. We'll talk more about that in just a moment. Second and nine from the 13. Man motion carrying on the outside. The speed and the touchdown. For Soto Rodriguez. This Harvey team is a lot better than, you know, what things seem to look like on the outside looking in. They have the athletics. They have the speed. Blasey Collins looking really great. Looking like Nick Chubb on the field. So what's interesting here again, and it's so great to see here, players who may have just made a play, what positions they play as special teams. So Soto Rodriguez, who just ran for the touchdown, he is the field goal kicker. He's going to kick the extra point. Very busy, very busy young man. Very busy young man. All over the field, offense, defense, and special teams. So Soto Rodriguez makes his second PAT. And with 347 left to go in the first quarter, Paintsville Harvey Red Raiders. They're up over the Rickliffe Blue Devils, 14 to nothing. Let's talk a little bit here, uh, Rico. Double A Anthony Alpha Rico McGee here with you. CBC TV. And let's talk briefly here about we saw Soto Rodriguez. I want to get with Blaze Collins. And the thing that stands out is not only the speed but the power that comes with the speed. What are your thoughts on the running game for the Red Raiders? I think if they want to have some success, just continue to feed him the ball because because when he gets that ball, he is hard to stop, especially in the open field. And they have the offensive line. The offensive line doesn't get enough credit to me in this situation, in, the, in, this, in this thing, if you will. Excuse me. And they are actually getting downfield and making a lot of key blocks, which are opening up bigger lanes for Collins to run through. Got a squid kick, and the hands team had to be on it. Field it near midfield. And Bukar, Frankie Bukar, alert, making the play. And I'll tell you what, the huge responsibility being in that front line because you see that more and more and more now. Got to be ready to go because the kickoff team may want to surprise you. And Harvey was looking to surprise the Blue Devils. You right always there. have to be prepared. Always have to be prepared. Watch everything. Watch the onside kick. Watch the fate. Watch the play action. 3.45 to go in this opening quarter. Third offensive possession for the Blue Devils and a stop in the backfield. Smester kept it and Puckett with the stop. Clock rolling under 3.30 to go, opening quarter. I think what's interesting, the Blue Devils are in a huddle. This is all part of a learning process, you know, with this team learning how to not only play a lot of these players playing on Friday nights, getting that Friday night varsity experience. And these are the things that you have to go through and learn and learn how to make the adjustments early in the first quarter, down 14 nothing. Everything is a learning curve and nothing comes overnight. You know, you have to you have to take some bumps. And part of that right there, Plump goes down in the backfield as Austin was there, number 40, making a play in the backfield, third and long coming up, Rico. Wycliffe is a very great football team. I think they have a lot of great children 
great kids on this team that are eager to learn, that want to be leaders, and the more they put in the work, it's going to come with some bumps. Nothing is crystal stairs. Just keep what you're doing. Crystal stairs. That's a new one. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I like that term. Yes. <laughs> Everything is at crystal stairs. Nothing starts off crystal stairs. You have to work to that. Oh, man. A Disney film coming near you. Third down. <laughs> <laughs> Third and 15. And ball comes out. Oh, they're going to rule that down. They will well, They will rule that down. Let's see what the officials, they're talking that over. There was some excitement there, but they will rule that down. Good play defensively for Harvey. Harvey has been here before. They know what they have to do. Tough game against Kirkland week one. Kirtland, excuse me. But they they kept in there. They hung with Kirtland. Another tough loss last week. And I think they're taking those those two experience. They, they're taking the experience from those two losses. And I'll give it a shot there. Here is the return. Fielded on the run. Going past midfield. It's badly. Fielding it. And one thing that stands out on the special teams, and we're kind of seeing it with all the punts on the Blue Devil side of things, Red Raiders, they're going after the punter. All three times they've went after the punter. And they believe in their special teams. It's just about belief. I believe if I saw you could get to him once, you can definitely get to him again. So we're going to keep sending them and keep sending them after you, after the punter. So the Red Raiders back on offense. 65 seconds to go in this opening quarter. Waiting for the snap. Wise gets it over to Collins. Collins looking to find space, creates space. Good blocking up front. Stays inbounds, gets extra yards, and will go down at about the 30. And getting that blocking, getting the blocking from not only the offensive line, but also the receivers at the second level is paying off for the Red Raiders. Everybody's coming together like pieces in the jigsaw puzzle. Everybody knows their role. Everybody is playing selfless. This is a selfless, fundamentally sound football team. Student section for the Blue Devils rooting on to their defense. Got a flag down as Austin carries the ball. It's going to go against the Red Raiders. So we'll wait for the official call. But looks like it will be a holding. And even when you're leading, you're still looking for, and penalties happen, but even when you're leading, you're still looking for clean football to be played. Always. Always to be played. So we're back at it here. First and 23 after the penalty against Harvey. Flags down once again. And this will also go against Harvey. And this time will be a false start. So first and 28 coming up on the scoreboard. And maybe it's the little things, but maybe for the Blue Devils, hey, you know, get some kind of a break here as the clock starts to roll. If they could get some kind of break and find a way to slow down this offense, and take it one possession at a time, I think they could climb back into this. So, a little interesting finish to the first quarter as the Harvey Red Raiders, they're leading over Wycliffe Blue Devils 14 to nothing after one. Broadcast brought to you by the Ohio Center for Oral Facial and Implant Surgery. Back here with you, up top here at with Memorial Stadium, Anthony Alfred, Rico McGee here with you. And 
What are the key takeaways that you've seen here from the first quarter? Let's start with the team who's leading the Harvey Red Raiders. Offensively, everything on offense, they kept the ball on the ground and they fed it to their main guy, their heart and soul of this offense in Collins, who has just been a blur all over the field. He's kind of like Sonic the Hedgehog. Remember how he used to just, you know, everything like that, just dominating. Now for Wycliffe, you just have to slow down. Remember who you are. You've been punched in the mouth. That's okay. That's what, that's what boxing is. You're going to get punched. How do you respond? How do you slow down this offense? I think everybody needs to fly to the ball and slow down this run game. Harvey talked about going into this week, minimizing mistakes, focusing on execution, as you mentioned during the pregame, Rico. And I think so for most of the first quarter, for the exception of the last 30 seconds, Harvey has done that. But that's going to be zeroed in here because we got a first and 28. Harvey had a holding call against them and then a false start, which sets up now first and 28. So they're going to get back to minimizing mistakes. Here's a toss. Two Collins on the left side. Flag comes down. Collins will get a good game, but we'll see what the penalty is as we are just underway in the second quarter. And it will be a holding against Harvey. You see how great Harvey can be when they play fundamentally sound. Now they've had three straight penalties to push them back, even out of field goal range. So it's, those, it's the little things. It's those those mental errors that could really make or break success in the game. And again, part of that learning process, because it's, <laughs> it's one of the unspoken truths in sports. It's not easy to hold a lead either. <laughs> you know, like It's easy when you look at the scoreboard and it's like, okay, one team's up, one team's down. But maintaining that lead, you got there's some things that has to happen. And now, it's first and 34. Had to check our score bar there. It's just like, well, yeah, that's on there. Not a lot of plays in the playbook for first and 34, but here's a throw. That's caught on the outside badly. Stays in bounds and keeps going. Inbounds gets a really good game. And Devon Badley makes up a lot of those yards off of that first and 34. To capitalize off your point, holding a lead is not as easy as everybody thinks, especially when it's halftime and you're coming out from halftime and you don't know what adjustments are going to be made. You don't know what adjustments you need to make to keep on holding, to keep holding on to the lead. And it's not as easy as what everyone thinks. Second and six from the 26. Collins will get it on the left side and will make it make it close and I believe he has the first down blaze Collins getting the blocking holder on the outside Trent Hall number five on the outside blocking at the receiver position and the ball so after that first and 34 two plays later Harvey Red Raiders with a first down from the 20, get 10.30 to go in this second quarter. Red Raiders looking to add on to the scoreboard. Here's a run to the inside. Powering through, will go down. That reach will be a touchdown for the Red Raiders. Sean Austin gets the score, and Harvey now up 20 to nothing. I am really excited to see what he's going to be for the next four years for Harvey. He's only a freshman, only a freshman, and he's running hard. He's making plays. Imagine when he becomes a senior and just how great he's going to be in that locker room, in the weight room, and in the classroom. I'm really excited to see what he's going to be. 5'10", freshman, and we talked about it again as Soto Rodriguez. Oh, great kick. Great extra point, and that's good. It is now 21 to nothing with 10-16 to go in the second quarter. Let's go a little bit off of that point here. You're a freshman. You're in this situation. You're playing under the lights here on a Friday night, and you get an opportunity 
to get the football in the red zone on varsity time. And there's nothing, Rico, but growth. Nothing but growth from here. Nothing. It, you're, you're still learning. You're, you're still learning. You're still taking in. You're, you're like a sponge. You know, you're just absorbing everything as it comes along, whether it be good, whether it be a struggle. And that's just the thing about having the talent, you know, when you're starting under the light. As a freshman, there's nothing like it. Nothing like it. And it's on, the only way up. The only way up. <laughs> it's only up from here. And you mentioned the most important part of that, and that's the classroom. And all of these student athletes, you're kind of seeing it. And I, I think what's interesting, remember when we, we were on the air two weeks ago and between Beachwood and Orange, and I believe Beachwood had not started classes yet and going into week one with the season starting a week earlier. So now it's, again, the balance between – getting your work done on the football field and in practice, but also most importantly in the classroom. And when you are a freshman, that's the most important thing that you're going to learn from Jump Street. You're going to learn how to balance football, and you're going to have to learn to balance the classroom. And always remember, the classroom comes first because you will not be able to suit up under the lights on Friday night if those grades are not great. That kick is fielded and will be down at about the 35 for the Blue Devils. All right, 10.06 to go here in the second quarter. What do you want to see offensively from the Blue Devils on this drive, Rico? They're going to have to mix it up. They're going to have to take some risk. They're going to have to take some shots downfield. At this point, there's nothing, you know, you're, you're, you're covered from point A from sideline to sideline. Harvey is not giving up anything. You're going to have to take some shots down the field at this point. So they will start their drive on the 35, their own 35-yard line. Got two receivers set. Inside carry and right on it. Harvey Red Raiders. Tyree Austin was right there to make the play. Second down coming up. She had a loss of three on the play. And again, just that learning experience, just finding that chemistry. A lot of young guys for Wycliffe, you know, this is just the first attempt in learning. You know, to me, that's the acronym of what fail is. First attempt in learning. Got a flag down right before the play could take place. It will be initial ruling against the defense, it looks like. And it will be, it will be an encroachment against the Red Raiders. I think when you're up three scores, you know, Harvey is up and I think they're a little excited and I think they love getting to the quarterback, they get love getting to the running back. This defense just loves flying to the ball. It doesn't matter who has it. And I think they just, they got a little too antsy. Hard count. Got to start somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Offensively, Blue Devils start somewhere. And that might be the case. As we await the next play, don't go anywhere at halftime. We're going to hear from both bands, both marching bands coming up. At halftime, the Blue Devil marching band as well as the Red Raiders marching band. We'll tell you more about that coming up in just a bit. Here's a run up the middle. And Gargulo gets the carry. And that'll be close to a first down. And we'll see what the officials rule. As they talk it over, and it will be a first down. So first down. For Wycliffe. Wycliffe with the first down. And the Blue Devils on the move. This clock stops initially with 8.45 to go. Now it's rolling once again here in the second quarter. But while we have a moment, real quick, both bands will perform at halftime. The Harvey Red Raiders, they had a busy day this morning. They were on Fox 8. Fox A News kicking it with Kenny at the Rock Hall. So 
Great to see them this morning as a stop in the backfield defensively. And that's been the case. But I'll tell you what though, to be able to perform in front of your family on television, like the Harvey Red Raiders were this morning, uh, what an unbelievable experience for those kids and for the families, for them like, hey, that's my son, that's my daughter on television. That's really cool. That's very amazing and very exciting and great networking opportunity if you want to be a journalist. It is. <laughs> <laughs> it is, but a good trip there. Again, up early in the morning, performing. So great, great opportunity. Good open field tackle in the backfield for Batley. The speed of this Harvey defense. You know, just the speed. I can't say enough about it. You can't say enough about the speed of this and the athleticism of this defense. They they really put the work in in the weight room uh, through drills, through practice. And it's paying off right here tonight. And that was a loss of six. And you mentioned the speed, Rico. It's the speed, side-to-side -side speed, too. And you know, you talk about, like, those pursuit drills, and you don't necessarily aim for the player. You aim for the anticipated spot of where that player will be, and you've seen a lot of that defensively for the Red Raiders. I like the outside contain, too, to force that player to the inside. And the defense right there again in the backfield, DJ Watt making the stop, and it's fourth down. Don't get down, Wycliffe. Wycliffe doesn't need to get down. They just need to keep fighting, keep fighting, you know. This is th an old coach back in high school referred to football as a 100-yard war. A 100-yard war, a game of chess. Is, you know, you just have to go to halftime, you know, look at you know, see what's going wrong, you know, correct it. And pressure with the punt. That was a line drive punt and return by Batley, who will get some good yardage past midfield. It will be down at the 41. I believe we, yes, we do have a flag on the play. So we'll see what the call is with 5.53 to go in the second quarter. We await the call as both teams look to make their adjustments. And this will be against the Red Raiders. The one thing that more than likely will be addressed in the locker room for the Red Raiders, if you're Coach Mockner, and you're looking at those penalties, hey, we <laughs> got to clean this up in the second half. Yes, you definitely have to clean it up. You play good, clean football, you know, had a little bump in the road at the end of the first quarter. You won't always be able to convert on first and 34. <laughs> we have a timeout on the field by the Red Raiders. First timeout for the Red Raiders. And I'll tell you what, just let's talk a little bit about the kind of culture that Coach Mockner has established for the Harvey Red Raiders. So you hit on it a little bit, you know, during the pregame, but he's talking about that focus, talking about the execution. We are seeing that here tonight in response here on the road. And that on the road is the toughest place to do it. Yeah, you have your fans, but when you're on somebody else's turf and you have to you know, it's that band of brothers mentality. You have to come together because it's you versus pretty much everybody that's not with you. So right back here, we're under six minutes to go. 5.53 to go as the officials wait to restart play. And we're back in action. From the 48, first and 10, new drive here for the Red Raiders. Running to the outside. This is Soto Rodriguez. He'll get a first down. For 
Julo with the stop. But a first down for the Red Raiders. Collins isn't the only one that can run the ball. And you mentioned with Harvey that one-two punch starts with Collins. Then you go back. You know, Soto Rodriguez is right there as well. It's, they have a triple punch combination. Back to Collins. And that is a gain of four on the play. Correction on my end, gain of three. So second is seven. Coming up with five minutes to go. In the first half. Harvey started off with the fast pace. They look like they want to slow it down a little bit. Up by three scores. Right back at it once again. Running hard. And Austin, the Red Raiders. So we mentioned a one-two punch. I forgot to mention the the third asset of that, and that's the young man who scored the touchdown in the red zone in the last possession. Collins runs it there. The freshman, Austin, there as well. And I'll tell you what, if you are the Red Raiders offensive line, I think in this first half, you kind of like how this is going. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. No. Yes, there is no doubt. I mean, their offensive line has played great, and they they have speed, and they are athletic, and they can get down the field. We're going to have a pass and a stop in the backfield for the Blue Devils. Noah Dome with the sack in the backfield, taking down Wise, the quarterback. And it's just those little plays, you know, to, to claw back into it and regain some of that momentum because right now everything looks as if it's on Harvey's side and you just have to put your foot down, get back in the fight. Second and 15, here's some of the fans like, hey, just stay, stay on them. Here's a run by Collins. Collins, just a speed. Blaze Collins, living up by his name. He is just moving. And it's going to be, it looks like a third and short coming up. Gain of 14. Third and short. Right back at it. Collins gets the first down. And Harvey is right back well in the red zone as that sets up a first and go. This, this one, two, three, triple punch running game, you know. In boxing training, we were taught one, two, three. It's like Collins is Collins is that right hand, that that power hand, and Sean Austin, he's he's that left hook. And Rodriguez is he's that jab, he's that that set it up, that's that sets up the the first punch that sets up that combination. Yeah, Soto Rodriguez, and at the end of it, kicks the extra point. Here's a toss to the outside. That will be close to the end zone. Chris Burt getting the carry. Freshman 5'6", entering the football game. Gain of five, second and go from the one with 231 to go in the second quarter. It's Harvey looking to get this one in the end zone once again. Here's the carry, just short of the end zone as Austin was there. But another official, so I believe we have two conflicting calls here. The officials will talk. One official rooted a touchdown, the other. And the officials talked it over. No score there. So one official, a little disagreement. The officials talked it over and concluded that that was just short of the end zone. Third and go coming up. And again, do not go anywhere coming up at halftime. Both marching bands, you will hear both of them live right here on CVC TV. 
Clock is rolling, coming up on two minutes to go in the second quarter. Carey under center, touchdown. And yes, that is Sean Austin. Direct snap. Getting the touchdown. And the Red Raiders back on the scoreboard. With a minute 48 to go. Another strong run. Another tough run. So the Rodriguez as Rise will be the holder. So the Rodriguez the kicker. Extra point goes up. There was a little bit of pressure, but just got it through. And it's good. And it is now Harvey 28. Wickliffe, zero, with a minute 48 to go in the second quarter. And again, our broadcast, you see their logo on the top right corner of the screen, brought to you by the Ohio Center for Oral Facial and Implant Surgery. They're this year's title sponsor for CVC TV. They practice diagnosis and treats facial pain and injuries and also offers a full range of dental implants and bone grafting procedures. Look no further than the Ohio Center for Oral Facial and Implant Surgery for all of your oral surgery and cosmetic surgery needs. Go to ohsurgery.com. That's ohsurgery.com. Double A Anthony Offer, Rico McGee here with you. Our entire CVC TV LPV Productions crew all here. All braving the humidity here tonight. Temperature is starting to drop a little bit here. Humidity can be the worst thing <laughs> sometimes. Uh, you know what's interesting is the ball is kicked. It will go to EJ Mester. He's been getting good returns tonight. He has been getting good blocking from the kick return team. You know, it's interesting, and the thing about high school football, it's week three, we're talking about humidity, and we're talking about, like, oh, the sun, sun will go down after halftime. Give it about a month, about a month and a half. We're going to be wishing for this humidity. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we will. Trust me. Yes, we will. Oh, uh, yeah. It's, it's one of those. It's, I think what's interesting, you go – I find this with the fall sports season and the spring sports season in high school athletics, the change of weather during the season is undefeated. It really is. It's, and during the fall, as that play is stopped in the backfield, during the fall week, Rico, it's like, okay, during training camp, it's hot. It seems like it's always hot. And then you get near the playoff time, and it's cold, you try to find extra sleeves, snow, you get it all, and especially here in Ohio. It's nothing like football in Northeast Ohio. It's either one extreme or the other. It's yeah. either hot or it's cold, you know. But it's, you know, when them leaves change, especially around homecoming time. Uh, yeah, good point, yeah. Especially around homecoming time. Usually first couple weeks of October, and we'll be covering some games where, you know, we'll be that homecoming football game. And that, those are special games. Those are really special games for the entire student body. It's always fun, but it's that run is up the gut. And that will be Argulo there. It's coming up by 35 seconds to go in this first half. So, 28 nothing here. Blue Devils, there's still another half of football to play. What do you want to see from the Blue Devils in the second half, Rico? Continue to fight. Do not give up. Do not lay down. Keep pushing. Keep fighting. Keep clawing. A four-score lead. It seems daunting, but trust me, it's all mental. You have to get out there, and you have to keep fighting. You still have plenty of time. You have another half of football if you're Wycliffe, and you just have to keep fighting. And what about as they let the clock run out, the Blue Devils? So it will be halftime. We'll get to the bands momentarily. 
but if you are the Harvey Red Raiders, you're up 28 nothing. but you also have another half of football to play. What do you want to see for the Red Raiders in the second half, Rico? Well, you know what, honestly, all really Harvey has to do is just continue to run the football. Continue to run the football. If it's not broke, don't fix it. You know, if the shoe fits, you know, continue to establish your identity, continue to uh, have the offensive line dominate. Just keep running the football. You don't have to do much else. It is halftime. 28 Harvey Red Raiders out of Painesville over the Wycliffe Blue Devil Zero. Got another half of football to play. Double A Anthony Alfred, Rico McGee here with you. But we will turn our attentions to the marching bands you will hear from both marching bands the blue devils marching band and the red raiders marching band you will hear both of them live right here right now live on cvc tv we'll be back with you for the second half in just a little bit
Yeah, because we're going to have a quick second half, guys.
They're up 28 to nothing over the Blue Devils. So we're getting set and ready to start the third quarter. Welcome back, everybody. Double A Anthony Alfred, Rico McGee here with you. The weather has started to settle down here. We're past halftime. By the way, great job by both marching bands. Uh, you heard during the halftime a little bit of uh, uh, Silk Sonic there and also Danger Zone. Um, Part of that halftime show, so we were uh, we were vibing up here in the booth. <laughs> it was the a halftime. whole vibe, a whole vibe. Yeah, this it was fantastic. Happy to showcase uh, the marching bands at halftime, and a special congrats again to the Harvey Red Raiders marching band who was on this morning, uh, kicking it with Kenny over at Fox Eight at the Rock Hall uh, this morning. But both the Blue Devils marching band and the Red Raiders marching band, a phenomenal job. Heard that right here. All right, we're back. CBC TV, uh, Game of the Week brought to you by the Ohio Center for Oral Facial and Implant Surgery, 28 to nothing. Uh, let's go through a few of the stats here. Uh, DigitalScout.com, doing a great job with that. Uh, first with, with Harvey. The thing coming in, Rico, was the running game. And so far, Bobby Plump, 
only nine yards, five attempts. Uh, Vincent Gargulo, eight carries, five yards. So the one-two punch, running the football. The defense for the Red Raiders, they figured it out in the first half. Well, I think what the Harvey Red Raiders did was stack the box, said the only way you're going to beat us is if you take shots downfield deep. But they have not allowed many yards for Wycliffe to gain on the ground. The defensive front for Harvey has been in the backfield all night long. We'll see how Wycliffe responds to that. The offense for Harvey, a whole, a whole different story. Blaze Collins, 105 yards and two touchdowns. He has been the workhorse, while Sean Austin, the freshman, has two touchdowns, 27 yards rushing. The run game has just been the answer, and Wycliffe hasn't figured out how to slow it down. And, and again, they're giving it a, a try here. Uh, Austin, uh, Austin with one, uh, two touchdowns, Collins with one touchdown, but again, 105 yards, averaging nine and a half yards per carry, uh, which is another uh, big story. Again, special thanks to, uh, to Wycliffe for providing stats for both teams uh, here tonight. Special thanks to them uh, for doing that. Um, for all to see. Uh, but, again, getting that nine and a half yards per carry, a couple of team stats we'll go through uh, here in a little bit. The big thing, Harvey, 209 yards. The Blue Devils, minus 24 yards in the first half. So, again, just something to kind of correct. What's interesting, time of possession, the Blue Devils have had the football longer 12 minutes, 57 seconds compared to 9 minutes and 15 seconds for the Red Raiders. That ball goes just past Blue Devils. As we're back underway, get started with the third quarter. Blue Devils trying to get back on offense, but the Red Raiders kind of ready for it. Uh, but that time of possession compared to the yards, kind of interesting there in that first half. Well, I think the time of possession is really because – Harvey's just been scoring at will. Four scores in the first half, 28-0. It's just been an, an offensive clinic that they're putting on and just a nightmare for this Wycliffe defense. And that was all in the first half, so back here in the second half, both teams having a chance to adjust in the locker room, 20-minute halftime, so we are back at it here as we start the third quarter with the Red Raiders with the football and Blaze Collins. And Collins not able to get past second level. Tackles are made. Flag is down to start the second half. It will go against the Red Raiders. That will be the Red Raiders' sixth penalty of the game. Blue Devils with no penalties in the first half, but one of the things we talked about, the penalties, and the Red Raiders starts off with their first offensive play with a penalty. And that's not the way you want to start the second half. Not the way you want to start the second half at all. You know, Wycliffe has been fundamentally sound, hasn't committed a penalty. And again, just trying to find the right course of action. First and 21. From the 36, from the Red Raiders' own 36. Running with the football, and gets all those yards back, and then some, there goes Collins! Collins driving right down the field, and will score the touchdown! A Nick Chubb-like run. Blaze Collins, 54 yards. Here's the replay. Just the offensive line. You have to give credit to that offensive line for opening that hole for him to run through. He ran through virtually untouched, and Wycliffe had no way of slowing it down. Again, what was showcased throughout the first half, and we saw it there in that run. Collins, once you get the football in his hands, he already has the speed. There's power behind it as well. And Soto Rodriguez gets ready to kick the extra point. And that will be good, making it 35 to nothing. 
just, again, an impressive run by Collins and the offensive line. The offensive line did great, but one of the things that I do want to point out is you cannot get these, these mental errors where you're putting yourself in a backwards motion because of penalties and think that you, they think that you can just pick it all up because you've got athleticism and talent. You know, it doesn't work like that. You have to play more fundamentally sound. And that was something I'll be pointing out uh, throughout. Uh, but just again, just interesting just to see that run go down, kind of backed up. And the second time in this game where Harvey was backed up, remember earlier in the game, we had a first and 34 situation where Harvey was driving the other way. And Harvey somehow, I think two plays later, got the first down. And you got the same thing there. It was a first and 21. And off of the first and 21 was a touchdown. A beautiful run. A beautiful run, but just got to play cleaner. So we're right back at it. Blue Devils will get the football. 11-17 and counting to go in this third quarter. Ball is kick, a directional kick that will bounce inside and will be returned on the hop. Just past the 25, marked down at the 26. With 10.54 to go. And the Blue Devils on offense. So Rico, what do you want to see offensively? You're talking about throughout like mix it up, things like that. But what exactly do you want to see offensively from this Blue Devils team? Honestly, I think Wycliffe just needs to, you know, take some more risk, take more shots down the field. I would actually like to see him throw it down the field and see what you can get. So we'll see here, 1030 and counting to go as the Blue Devils will start at their own 27. Got pressure on the inside, option play to the outside and caught right there as Gargulo had the carry. And Austin, Sean Austin making the play defensively. And we talked about Austin offensively, but defensively, Rico, making plays as well. He had 10 tackles last week against Jefferson and played his heart out as a freshman. And, you know, you just see glimpses of how great he could be. I'm really excited to see what the next four years have for him. Coming back out. Once again, second and 15 from the 22. And just underway in the second half, inside carry. Still up, but goes down as Plum. And that will be back to the line of scrimmage. Maybe a gain of a yard, third and 14. Ball is on the 23. They need to get, the Blue Devils, need to get to the 37-yard line to get a first down. A little bit cooler temperatures here, 8.43 to go. Ball is snapped, the fence right there. And that's been a story of this game. The Red Raiders, the fence, able to just anticipate the play and make the play immediately. Harvey just has everything well scouted. Everything well scouted. And they have jumped on everything. 8-10 to go and counting. And the Blue Devils will punt. Batley back to return. Ball will fall just short. And that will be down. 
I was a little silent there because I think we both were because we heard your word and again it's just a lesson just you got to hear from the coaches got to hear from your teammates on the sidelines as well it's a collective effort and you don't want mistakes on the punt return because the Blue Devils could have got the ball right back exactly and would have gotten it back in excellent field position have to hear that you have to be aware of everything Back here, Harvey on offense, Collins running the football. Collins had the big 54-yarder touchdown run the last drive. We are here live at Wickliff Memorial Stadium. Fresh turf on the field. The field is beautiful. Field is really nice from up here. Building a, a new building right off to the side of the football stadium here. Collins under duress. And the defense is there for the Blue Devils. There is excitement around, you know, with the new turf. Got the new building coming up here for Wycliffe. A lot of excitement here in the community, just the growth here. And, you know, we're seeing it. We're seeing it here tonight. Great stadium, great accommodations. Here is a throw incomplete. That wise pass incomplete. Fourth and five coming up for the Red Raiders, kind of in that in-between zone, so they'll go for it. Oh, got a flag down. That was fourth and five. That'll be automatic first. We'll see if technically that'll be enough for a first down or it will be fourth and short. Nope, uh, that'll be a first down. You're right on it, Rico, first down. Use the hard count. New set of downs. So at the 28, Harvey with a new set of downs. Collins, the defense, spotting it there. So you are seeing the linebackers kind of reading that a little bit better here in this drive. Collins not able to bounce to the outside uh, here in this drive. I think that's one of the adjustments that they made at halftime. I think the coach informed them that, hey, he is getting off. We have to be on it before. It, you, you have to think. You have to be first. You have to be there first to make the stop, and that's what Wycliffe did. Excellent job on that play. Second and 11, run to the left side, getting the carry, the stiff arm, and all alone, Sean Austin. Touchdown, Harvey Red Raiders. A 29-yard touchdown run, and the Red Raiders convert once again in the end zone. I know it's tough. I know it's tough. But you can't give up. You got to keep fighting. Got to keep fighting. Wise will hold Soto Rodriguez. Kick the extra point. Clock is rolling. 4.05 to go in the third quarter. Flag comes down. Play will be ruled dead with the flag down. And that is an encroachment against the Blue Devils. First penalty of the game, I believe, for the Blue Devils. So that will be enforced here. So possession will move up to the, the two-yard line. Stoddle Rodriguez for the PAT. Snap. And right through. And good. So with 315 to go in county. Harvey Red Raiders, 42. And 
Wickliffe, Blue Devil, zero. He has got the golden boot. He can run. He's, he's physical on defense, and he's got the golden boot. He is the jack of all trades. Presenting sponsor of CBC TV, Ohio Center for Oral Facial Implant Surgery, Dr. Keith Snyder, Don Lewis, Jill Reber, and Jacqueline Thompson there. Specialties include dental surgery and implants, corrective jaw and facial surgery, and trauma reconstruction. For all of your oral surgery needs, visit the Ohio Center for Oral Facial and Implant Surgery. Visit the website, ohsurgery.com. That's www.ohsurgery.com. Thank you for your support, Chagrin Valley Conference and CVC TV. We got coming up here after this kickoff, my concession stand review of the week. Taste of the town. Have that coming up for you after this kickoff. A new item for me from the concession stand. So our fine folks here at Wycliffe. Ball is loose, still loose. Picked up, returned. Trying to get away, makes one man miss. Down the sidelines and down at the 30. Zunaka, good recovery. Picking up the football and getting the return. So down at the 31. So this time, Rico, back here, double A Anthony out for Rico McGee. So a little different this week. Pepperoni pizza sticks. Mm. Pepperoni pizza sticks, which was a tradition back at my junior high. You, know, you, you always had like the second, you had your main lunch, and then the second lunch was always some kind of pizza. Yeah. And sometimes in the rotation, pizza sticks was in the rotation. Mm. So they have them here at the concession stands. Okay. I'll tell you what, really good. Really? Really good. So what would you give them on a scale of 1 to 10? I would give them a 20. Woo! <laughs> really good. They give you a, a good amount of, as we have a penalty here. They give you a good amount here. And have that with a bottle of water for me, I was good to go. Eight and a half time, good to go. I think you're making me want to go and get some. As Hopefully I'll get it before the game's over. As you should. And, and as always, I, I encourage, I'm, I'm not kidding when I say this, you know, come out to these games, support concession stands, the, you know, the, the merchandise, inside of selling merchandise, you know, selling food, all that money goes to the local schools here, so... Um, you're giving back to the community with that and getting fed well <laughs> with that too. So uh, definitely, you know, come out to these games. And Jackson will carry it for the Blue Devils. Be second down. And if you're unable to make the game in person, watch right here, CVC TV, ChagrinValleyConference.com, and check out ChagrinValleyConference.com, live scoreboard update, all the action going on across the Chagrin Valley Conference, football, volleyball, cross country, everything you need. Got it for you, live scoreboard update, as well as CVC Spotlight, a lot of great things right there on ChagrinValleyConference.com. Check that out. And you can also listen to all of our games on ChagrinValleyConference.com. Under 30 seconds to go. Ball comes loose. So he gets it back. It will stay with the Blue Devils. And a kudos to these student athletes from the football players to the basketball players to the soccer players to the baseball players, the cheerleaders, the marching band. These students work very hard in and out of the classroom and it's just amazing to see the hard work and the results of that hard work each and every week. End of the third quarter, Harvey up 42 to nothing. The one thing I want to mention uh, as well is, is seemingly, you know, we still got a lot of students here, still got a full you know, student section here uh, for Rickliffe, still got you know, some students, some parents, all here as well, and I, and I can't tell you how much and, and that's on both sides too. Har Harvey out of Paysville bringing you know their fans. And I can't tell you 
how important when you're out there on the field and you're performing or you're cheerleading or you're in a band to see your classmates, to see your parents, to see all of them out out there supporting you and supporting your friends. That that goes a long way and it's part of this great experience. It's nothing like football in Northeast Ohio. High school football in Northeast Ohio is just it's just something I've always enjoyed watching. Uh, from Friday night touchdown on Fox 8. I just love this time of year is always fun because I always love watching the high school football highlights. It's just high school football to me is just the purest form of football. The purest form it of really football. It really is. It, it really is. I mean, you learn so many lessons, so many life lessons, just being around your teammates. And every situation, every situation presents itself. It really does. You know, whether it happens on the scoreboard or it doesn't, every situation presents itself. You know, you learn how to, you, you learn how to succeed. You learn how to overcome adversity. Like, all of these things. Like, it's, it's going to be great to see. I, I know the score is not the way that Wycliffe, Wycliffe wants it tonight, but you're going to be able to take this as handoff to the left side. Got an open room. Good. Boom there. On the left side. And let's take a look at the replay. What a solid run. What a solid run. And that's what you have to do. Continue to keep fighting. You, the W might not go your way tonight, but, you know, fail means first attempt and learning. I look at fail as an acronym. So you take the lessons, go back in the film room, look at what you did wrong, and progress and improve from it. One of the other things you look at in the fourth quarter, coaches look at this as it's still a 60-minute game. Who's going to give the effort here? Here's the run. Good open run. Still going for the Blue Devils. Great rush there, first down for Bobby Plum. And I know Bobby Plum, he wants to progress to get in that end zone. He's running hard here in this fourth quarter. Oh, yes. He, he's, still, he's still running like it's the first quarter. You know, when, when halftime starts, it's 0-0, and you still – there's still some things. If you continue to fight, there's still some positives that you could take away from tonight. 10.35 to go in county, fourth quarter. Dela Anthony out for Rico McGee. The ball is at the 50. Blue Devils running side to side. Running on the left side. And Oops. out of bounds. For number one there, Zanaskia. And these are what you are seeing from the Blue Devils. Some of the best runs that you have seen all game here. A lot of the best runs still giving that valiant effort, regardless of what the scoreboard says, regardless of how you may feel on the sideline. On the sideline, you probably feel like, I just wish this game would be over with so we could just go back to the locker room, but still have to keep fighting. No, they're going to keep fighting, and they want to score. They, they want that score. 9.30 to go. Running hard. They're going to keep rewarding this young man. Zanaka, they're going to keep rewarding this young man. He's running the football hard. Another first down for the Blue Devils. He has been the heartbeat of this offense and been the heartbeat of the special teams when it seems like it's, it seems gloomy, but he is that, he has been that light that has just shined and carried this team. Well, I'll tell you what's not gloomy for, for the Blue Devils, this drive. And they have been moving down the field. Nine minutes to go and counting. They are at the 35-yard line playing their style of football. Nearly met in the backfield, but still running hard. That's Ralph Jackson. Loss of a yard, but could have been much worse. But Jackson's second effort nearly got back to the line of scrimmage. And for pride purposes here, Rico, defensively, you want to maintain that shutout. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. The game is not over yet. There's still just over eight minutes in the fourth. And you want to make a statement. So back in the huddle, 
Blue Devils come out. She'll come up by eight minutes to go. Blue Devils moving down the field at the 37. Running left side. That left side has been successful. Running hard once again. Nujanaka gets it on the left side. Another first down for the Blue Devils. Looking at a gain of 13 yards. And again, all the fans on the home side are stuck around. They're getting a treat here on this, this current drive. Leave with something. Keep pounding. Blue Devils are nearing the red zone. A little miscommunication between quarterback and tailback. Mester in the backfield. Quarterback looked one way to tell back, went the other way. A loss of three yards on the play. Here are the bands shining here in the fourth quarter. One of the first times here in this game that a team has gone in the huddle. Remember how quickly the game was moving in the first half, how both teams were trying to avoid the huddle. Running again that left side. Trying to get that stiff arm going out of bounds at the 15. Knock again on the left side. Setting up a third and short. Another excellent run. Now they're in scoring position. They are officially in the red zone. One of the few times tonight that Wycliffe has made it to the red zone. And the blocking on the left side. Seen it on those runs to that left side. Third and one. Wycliffe is stuck to their game plan. They have not taken many shots down the field and they look like. And a big hit. Met there. Ralph Jackson goes down. Zaroski met him in the backfield. Fourth down coming up. Five twenty to go. Fourth and three. What do you think the Blue Devils are drawing up here, Rico? Play action. If possible, maybe a play action, maybe a boot. Maybe a quarterback keeper. Taking their time here, five minutes to go on counting. Fourth down and three. Blue Devils are at the 17, trying to get lined up. Red Raiders, and there was a little issue as far as lining up. And we have a timeout by the Blue Devils. With 4.48 to go. And I'll tell you what, getting that, this play, this play, this fourth down coming up here, Rico, you want to talk about importance for everyone on the field. Defense trying to prevent it, trying to hold on to their shutout. Offense saying we finally got an offensive drive that we like to our liking. In this drive, we want to finish it off with a touchdown. This is this is critical here in this fourth down. Very critical. Leave with something. Keep pounding. That's all I can say. Keep pounding. Leave with something. As always, you want to do that as both teams kind of discuss. Now, if you're the Red Raiders, defensively, what needs to happen here defensively? Well, well, I think you need to watch for anything sneaky. I think they're going to have to stack the box. Um, look for look for Harvey to stack the box and sell out to stop this run. So here we go. Back in action, fourth and three from the 17. Snap. Opposite carry and immediately stopped in the backfield. 
the Harvey defense right on it. Turnover on downs. An excellent defensive stand. That is how you assert yourself, and that is how you show dominance. So both teams will change possession. As a reminder, coming up next Friday, CVC TV will be live in Independence. As Cuyahoga Heights will face off against Independence. That game, remember last year, last year, that game came right down, I believe, to the final play um, a year ago, uh, Cuyahoga Heights. So next, so next Friday, we'll have it for you, 7 o'clock, ChagrinValleyConference.com, CBC TV on YouTube. Cuyahoga Heights at Independence. We'll have it for you right here on CBC TV. Should be, as always, the case with that matchup, an excellent matchup. Remember calling that game last year with Kevin Arnold. It, it was an incredible, incredible game right down to the wire. And we'll be back in Independence next Friday right here on CVC TV. Possibly looking at the newest rivalry, one of the newest rivalries in, in the CVC. It's fantastic. It, it, it is fantastic. And both teams, they take that matchup personally. They, they, they oh, it's do. a rivalry. They take that matchup personally. Short mileage between the two teams. So they are right there. Rivalry. New possession here, the Red Raiders. Run the football, they got an opening. They have an opening, left sideline, going right down that left sideline. Down, inside the 25. It's the same. And Lewis able to make that run. New possession here, the Red Raiders. Run the football, they got an opening. They have an opening, left sideline, going right down that left sideline. Just running hard all the way to that final, that final whistle. 57 yards on that run. Under four minutes to go as the Red Raiders are at the 21 of the Blue Devils. Under center, running, inside carry, and Lewis getting the carry for Harvey. And again, one of the big stories has been, as Bomer makes the play defensively, the yards per carry for the Red Raiders. It's really been a story of the game, as that last play was a gain of eight. It's just the holes are just opening up, and players are just, players aren't even getting, getting close. Three minutes to go. Fourth quarter, run. Oh, look at the speed and a touchdown for the Red Raiders. Another touchdown run. Wise gets that score. And once again, the Harvey Red Raiders just doing their thing, Rico. The speed and the heart of that running back to take it in and extend this lead. It's just the effort that, you know, you never want to take your foot off the gas. Wycliffe is a solid football team, and they just have had no answers for Harvey tonight. So Antonio Soto Rodriguez attempt the extra point and a few other players getting their opportunity here on a Friday night to get that Friday night experience, the extra points good. And you saw it there at that last drive, new players getting opportunities to perform and succeed. And look, look, these moments for those players, this is their prime time and they want to show out tonight. Oh, that's definitely, when you touch that field, if you are a JV guy and you get a chance to go in and see what it's like to play under the lights. Once you get a taste of that, 
Now you don't want to let it go. Now you're going to work extra hard in that weight room, extra hard in the film room to get better, to practice harder, because you now want to play under the lights. Should be a fun, it, it, not should be, it is a fun opportunity for those kids to experience that. And they see like, hey, you know, maybe, you know, later this year, maybe next season, I'm going to be the one out there in that field starting, and that's what you kind of look for uh, with these um, with these matchups. So minute 53, as we're winding down here again. We'll join you next week from Independence, Cuyahoga Heights, at Independence coming up next week on CVC TV. We'll have that for you. So I, I have to say though, just what. Harvey was able to do, they had a tough loss last week. And what they've been able to do, come out from the jump. And I thought defensively, making their presence known, the Harvey Red Raiders, that really set the tone for how this football game played out. The way that the way the defense came out and just got in the grill of Wycliffe, the way the defense got into just the grill, I think they had some frustration. <laughs> And they wanted to let some anger out because they were upset at the way things happened a week ago. Got a fumble on the return, but it will be caught. And down just past the 25 at the 26. And so with a minute 26 to go, Harvey Red Raiders, they're back on the road next week. They will face off against Crestwood next week. Meanwhile, the Blue Devils, they will hit the road to face off against Fairport next Friday. So, week four, they with football. Got a week to prepare for that next game. So, definitely some things to take from this. Definitely some things to learn and just get better next week. Coach Porcello of Wycliffe talked about establishing a culture. He talked about that during the media days, with CV, the CVC media days, as they're going to take a knee here, put a close to this one. And they're talking about establishing a culture. And look, tonight didn't go the way that you wanted it to go. But as always, you take – Take lessons from these games, and certainly they'll you, take that tonight. Use this as motivation. Use this as motivation. Because now you know what you have to do, and you don't want to feel this ever again. Ever again. So I would definitely take this, and I would look it in the face, and I would look at what, what to do and what not to do. Meanwhile, for the Harvey Red Raiders, they're going to get their first W. This is their first W tonight and in dominant fashion. And, look, they played like, you know, like, hey, we're getting the win tonight. And they did so. They had a close loss last week against Jefferson area. But tonight it is, from start to finish, the Harvey Red Raiders. Putting a stamp on this one, the final tonight, the Harvey Red Raiders 49, the Wycliffe Blue Devils nothing. So, real quick, we'll put a final touch to this one first for Harvey, for the Red Raiders. Can't get around it. An impressive, dominant performance. Impressive, dominant performance. Blaze Collins is the heart and soul of this offense. Sean Austin also with a couple of big runs, and now you can see Harvey's confidence boosting up. First win of the season, their confidence, they're feeling really good right now. As for Wycliffe, you just gotta take this, take it in stride, take it in stride. You know, it's still a learning process. It's not gonna be crystal stairs. Gotta just get back to it, get back after it next week. Couple of final stats here get provided by Wycliffe. Uh, Putting in the fight, great job by them. Thank you for putting the final stats uh, together here uh, for Harvey. 
the thing that stood out. 332 rushing yards for Harvey. Uh, the Blue Devils only had 18 rushing yards. Offensively, 384 yards compared to 18. So it's just the running the football, that was really the story of this game. And Harvey was able to do so. Real quick before we wrap, the Blue Devils, we talked a little bit about it before, uh, before the game ended. But, hey, the score is what it is. Game's over, and there's still tomorrow. And oh. there's still another game. This is the season is still early. This is only week three. You're one and two right now, which isn't bad. You will be fine. The Wycliffe will be fine. Trust me. They will bounce back from this. They have a good coaching staff, a bunch of resilient players on the team. Wycliffe will be just fine next week. So as we put a wrap to this again, I want to thank our entire CVC TV crew led by our main man, Peter Tullop. Our entire crew uh, here with us here tonight. A little humid. It was humid for like the first two and a half quarters. It cooled down. It's finally like room temperature in the 70s. Uh, but I want to thank everyone uh, for joining us. Again, the final score, Harvey Red Raiders 49, Wickliffe Blue Devils 0. For Rico McGee and our entire CBC TV team, Double A Anthony out for signing off. Have a good night again. Our broadcast brought to you by the Ohio Center for Oral Facial and Implant Surgery. Check out ChagrinValleyConference.com. We'll see you next Friday from Independence. It's Cuyahoga Heights face-off against Independence. Have a good night, everybody.